Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah. People are always wondering where Floyd gets his hair cut when he's not in Mayberry. Well, I drive by Great Cliffs, yeah, of Central Indiana in Louisville. Oh, nice. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Oh, they have, you know, I've always wanted two chair shops. They've got a bunch of chairs. Oh, it's nice here. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great at Great Cliffs. Hey, how you doing? This is Floyd Lawson, coming to you right here in Mount Airy, North Carolina. I'm at the Loaded Goat. Oh, it's a nice place. Not only that, there was a movie film here, Mayberry Man. Yeah, you can come and just like they did on the Mayberry Man movie and eat at the Loaded Goat and have a nice dynamite burger or one of their other burgers. Voted one of the best hamburger places in all of North Carolina right here in Mount Airy. Oh, and when you drop by, be sure and tell them Floyd sent you. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they'll, they'll, well, they probably won't do anything. Yeah, tell them I sent you. <laughs>Welcome, folks. We are live again. Alan, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, glad to be here. Those are fun to watch, the uh, promos there. Yeah, I'll try to do a little something different, you know, instead of the countdown video. Let's just play commercials. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, it's always fun to get together here, and uh, we're going to do something a little different uh, the title was Sorted Tales and Scandals. So, well, we don't normally like to air our dirty laundry, but yeah. um, tonight we're going to kind of address a few things. So, but before we get to that, uh, real quick, we've got uh, a clip of the week. We got a long clip this week that's kind of fun. And uh, we'll talk about the online uh, pre release online screening for our donors. We've chosen a date. Uh, coming up in April, so we'll tell you about that. And um, we've got uh, some some scandalous uh, news to talk about. So, uh, Alan, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it to you. <laughs> do you want clip of the week first, or do you want to hear scandals first? Uh, let's do clip of the week first because everybody they'll stick around to find out what the scandals are. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking, but I wanted, yeah. to, I wanted to hear from somebody else. Uh, so the clip of the week uh, involves bait. So uh, we're, so the title of this is kind of clickbait, you know, in a way, the whole scandal thing, right? So that's why yeah. we, we're going to do a oh, that's a, good. clip that involves bait. Hey, that's clever. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Little crossover there. All right. So uh, Chris Stone finds himself uh, back in Mayberry, and he runs into some some old pals. Chris Stone, hey. what are you doing back here in Mayberry? You didn't get caught speeding again, did you? 
No, I'm actually just looking for... Have you met my cousin Gary? He just moved here from Raleigh. It's Gary. Hi, Gary. Uh, do you guys know where... Hey, excuse me. Hey, you guys know where I can get some night crawlers around here? Well, I'll be. You're that famous fisherman. I've seen you on the TikTok all the time. i seen that last one where you caught that turtle instead of that fish. Gary, go get Mr. Fisherman some night crawlers. They sell night crawlers at a machine shop? Well, sure, it's also the local bait shop. Hey, famous fisherman! This is all very exciting. My friends ain't gonna believe it. Do you mind if I get one of them their selfies with you? Oh, no, not at all. Can I use your phone? I left mine back at the shop. Sure. Okay. Front pocket, just... Thank you. Come on in. Hey, Gary! Come on in here and get in this picture. A famous fisherman. Fish eye. Just thank you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fisherman. Sure do appreciate it. Call me Dan. Oh, that's very nice of you. Hey, Mr. Dan, if you got some time, why don't you tell us one of your dad jokes? He has got some of the funniest jokes you will ever hear. Okay, uh, yeah. Do you know why you should never offer to help a fisherman? Now, you might be opening a can of worms. Oh, <laughs> that is a good one. Ain't that the funniest thing you ever did here? I can see why you're so famous, Mr. Dan. Oh, well, thank you so much. What do I owe you? Oh, there's no charge. It's just an honor to meet someone as famous as you. Oh, well, thank you. You guys have a great day now. Well, thank you, Mr. Dan. Bye, Dan. Thanks, Mr. Dan. Bye, Mr. Dan. <laughs> that's a fun scene um were you there for the filming of that scene i was i was standing around watching that one that one was pretty fun uh the famous fisherman uh he's on uh i guess instagram is that that's where he's got the big uh, i think tiktok is TikTok. The, well he's probably on both but um yeah he's TikTok and it was really popular yeah so that so, that was uh, so we're gonna try something different this week uh, as you know, we're, we're kind of ramping up to the release of the series. We're expecting it to be in May. Still don't have a firm specific date. Uh, we will let you know as soon as we know. But um, so we're trying to do more marketing, you know, try to go viral a little bit, try to get people to click our videos. And so uh, what I did was I turned to AI, chat GPT, and I, I asked AI to, to write some, you know, more compelling headlines. I just feel like, you know, sometimes they're just a little flat or whatever. So, you know, trying to leverage AI, it's, you know, it's 2024, right? So That's right. Uh, have you ever tried that, Alan? I, I've tried it, uh, but, you know, uh, haven't used any of it yet. All right. Well, well you might discover uh, some of the limitations as you review <laughs> some of these headlines. But uh, right. So the segment is called clickbait or not. So that's the oh. bait type. So oh, right, these headlines, good. clickbait or not. And Alan, you can let me know. Yeah. And what, since these are kind of breaking headline, clickbaity kind of titles, I'm going to play some uh, breaking news music. Let me find that. Oh, that's good. Oh, here we go. Oh. And so, uh, you know, the first batch I had AI write. Not bad, Mayberry Man revisiting the charm of the Andy Griffith show. Yeah. I, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm a realistic million fan. I'm going to turn that music down. That was a good one. I like that one. Yeah, would you read that? Yeah, I would read that. All right, so like that. that was the first one. I thought it was okay, but still, I didn't really feel like clickbait. So then we got another one. The Andy Griffith Show legacy lives on. Mayberry Man's modern twist. Ooh. All right, so a modern twist. Yeah, yeah. That sound interesting I, to you? I like that too. Yeah. You'd, you'd click. You'd click anything that had Mayberry oh. though, right? Well, yeah. That's. I'm probably not a good judge. Not... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's the next one. Mayberry Man: The untold story behind America's most beloved small town. That's still kind of nice, right? Mm -hmm. That's good. So, so I thought they're good titles, that right? But good. then I, I asked uh, AI to just make them a little more compelling, controversial, perhaps. And let's let's see what 
AI came up with. Unraveling Mayberry Man, hidden symbolism and messages you missed. Hmm. What do you think? Wow. Yeah, now that one's, that one makes you, that really does make you wanna, okay, what's, what's this about? That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's something else going on in there. I mean, there could be conspiracy yeah, that, theories embedded yeah, that, in Mayberry Man. That's definitely clickbaitish because that's yeah. uh, definitely. So now we're, we got clickbait here. The other three, yeah. I don't think are clickbait. This, you think qualifies as clickbait? Yeah, I do because it probably wouldn't have anything to do with what that headline says. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. All right, so let's see okay. if they stepped it up a little bit here. Mayberry Man, reimagining a classic or tarnishing its legacy? Oh, that one hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. it's, that'll get you to yeah, click. I I think, yeah, I think that that draws you in a little bit, especially if you're one of those people that have been worried about that. That's yeah, uh, yeah. that'd be a good one. Well, any any news any mm -hmm. news coverage is good. Uh, That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see if it gets better. Mayberry Man, a modern take on small town America or just another remake? Oh. Oh, it's getting Ooh. harsh. Yeah, that is kind of harsh because yeah, it's not a remake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a remake. We have, a whole, remake. we have a whole video from That's Alan. Right. That's right. All right, let's see what else we got here. Mayberry Man, love letter fans or shameless cash grab? <laughs> well, if it's a cash grab, I'm not <laughs> sure it's working, but uh, I love the picture. I love the picture of Chris Stone though. That's good. Yeah, that, that's, that, see, that looks scandalous, right? That does. It looks like he's mad at somebody and yelling. That, that's, yes, that's a good he's, one. He's, he, actually, it looks like he's yelling, show me the money. <laughs> that's <laughs> a it. Shameless cash grab. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Mayberry Man unleashed scandalous tales and taboo breakdowns from the Andy Griffith Show remake. Boy, they're just hitting us on all. Wow. So now, are there things. articles that go in or is it just that? That's, I well, like to read some of these. <laughs> well, we'll get there. So, that, you know, I, that felt like a cheap shot right there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, what? Are, I don't even know what taboo breakdowns means. I don't either. <laughs> I'm not sure I either. I, I could have asked, I guess. I could taboo have asked breakdowns. Anyone. What kind of taboos? I don't know. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Mayberry Man exposed sinister plots and conspiracy theories surrounding the Andy Griffith show. Oh. Well, this seems a little more targeted toward the Andy Griffith show, so I'm not taking that one too, too uh, personal. But is that clickbait, do you think? Yeah, yeah, because you're definitely going to click on that to see. These are these are like the things you see on YouTube uh, thumbnails. That yeah, make exactly. Click on. Yeah, they are. Don't be surprised if you see these showing up on our YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Mayberry Man exposed sordid tales and scandals that shook the Andy Griffith Show legacy. Oh, my goodness. And these guys look kind of... You know, yeah, they do. I mean, they, they look like they're coming Texas Rangers or something. <laughs> Mysterious. I think that could be Walker right there. Walker, Texas Ranger. He's coming after us. <laughs> oh, that would be a good episode. Oh. <laughs> oh well, yeah, you so have Walker I, meets Andy. That would be good. No. Mayberry Man, the sinister truth behind the Andy Griffith Show revamp. Mm. Mm, sinister truth. Clickbait? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's definitely kickbook. Yeah, because I can't believe there is any sinister truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, revamp is that is that better than remake? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My my vocabulary is not that good, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. From sweet. To salacious Mayberry Man's sinful secrets and sensationalism from the Andy Griffith Show era. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of S's in there too. So it's got, uh, a, got a lot of S's in those words. Salacious. Chat GPT does uh, like alliteration, I guess, from yeah. time to time. Oh, see, your alliteration, your education is worth every penny. Knowing <laughs> that word. 
Uh, but that was a lot of words. That's a big mouthful. That is I, thought, I thought Ashley would appreciate a picture that included her. <laughs> Including yeah, single secrets. secrets in six months. <laughs> yeah, she'll like that. So. All right, next one. Mayberry Man, heroic tribute or shameless exploitation? Ooh. Clickbait? Yeah, yeah, I like the picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'd have to, uh, yeah, I'd have to click to see it. Yeah, that, that would make you click it. I do believe it would make you click. Uh, well, does it, does it make you wonder if you're being exploited? I, oh, oh, yeah, oh, that's deep. No, I mean, <laughs> oh, that's a deep. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, I got one more, one more. Mayberry Man, did it desecrate the memory of the Andy Griffith show? Ooh. It looks like you guys are examining the evidence. It does. That's contra. Yeah, yeah. It looks like we're looking, we're looking right into the heart of it, right there. That's <laughs> ooh. So I like those. So those are you know something that we've got some stuff to work with. You'll be seeing us roll those out in the uh, coming weeks. So I took it a step further. Uh, if we can kill our further than that. No, oh, no. Now the chat room. One of them said one, a headline we could use: "The real reason the cast of the Andrew Griffith Show will not watch Mayberry Man." That was, <laughs> there, there's you another headline, which I don't think there is a real reason. It'd be a clickbait, though. <laughs> yeah. So I did take one of those headlines, and then I politely asked AI to write the story. Oh wow! Based on one of those headlines. So what you're going to see next is that story. The truth, the oh, scandalous truth. There, here we go. Which one did you do? Oh, that oh you're about to find out. <laughs> All right. Here. Welcome to today's episode, where we confront a question that's lingered in the hearts of fans everywhere. Did Mayberry Man desecrate the memory of The Andy Griffith Show? In the quaint streets of Mayberry, where the echoes of nostalgia reverberate, a new chapter unfolded. Mayberry Man, a bold attempt to revive the essence of The Andy Griffith Show, or so it seemed. But as the credits rolled and the lights dimmed, opinions diverged. Some embraced the film as a loving tribute, while others recoiled at what they saw as a sacrilege. Critics, too, were divided, some heralding it as a refreshing take, others lamenting its departure from the original charm. Yet, amidst the controversy lies a deeper inquiry. Can a reinterpretation ever truly desecrate the memory of its predecessor? As the debate rages on, we're reminded that the memory of the Andy Griffith Show is etched in the hearts of millions, and perhaps Mayberry Man is just another chapter in its enduring legacy. Join us next time as we delve into more cinematic conundrums. Until then, I'm your host, signing off. There you go. <laughs> Wow. So the AI actually wrote the story? Uh, yeah. How did it know what to write? That's pretty impressive. And does it really say anything? I guess that's the... <laughs> no, but it was... it was uh, Wow. That was kind of interesting. It felt Twilight Zone a little bit to me. That was... Uh, <laughs> that was... Ooh. That was I, good. Well, maybe next time I'll ask it to write it in the style of Rod Serling. Let's <laughs> see what we get. That would be pretty fun. Wow. That was really good, actually, though. It was, I, I love the music. I love the, yeah. yeah, now it makes you want to know more about that. I love that. It was yeah, kind of Maybe cool. we'll release that uh, story. On, that on was kind of cool. Yeah. See if it goes viral. <laughs> there you go. Wow. So, um, so I thought that would be fun just to kind of to play around a little bit this week. And so, again, our online screening folks, uh, we've chosen a date, uh, Wednesday, April 24th. And uh, hopefully I got all the information right on there. So we're going to do like a virtual meet and greet. I, I don't know if, uh, I'm, I assume you're available, Alan, since you show up here every week. So um, <laughs> I plan to uh, be. Yeah. So uh, 
we'll do a seven o'clock virtual meet and greet, you know, by Zoom or something like that. And then at eight o'clock, we'll do uh, a live screening of all five episodes. Uh, it's all virtual online. So if you're a donor, it's exclusively for donors, people who've donated in the past. And if you want to donate now, if you weren't part of the past fundraising, crowdfunding, uh, it's not too late. You can go to MayberryManSeries.com and uh, still become a donor as we're trying to raise some more money for marketing and distribution. Um, but uh, this is one of those perks that basically everybody that donated, unless they, yeah, they should all be on the list. Um, everybody that donated will get a, an email with a link to, to join this. And if you did our current fundraiser, we have an option that includes the virtual meet and greet, uh, and you can join us there. So some recent donors, I want to say thank you to Brad, Charles, Craig, Don, Doug, Todd, James and Joy, and Reggie and Rayfield for their recent contributions to our marketing fund uh, at MayberryManSeries.com. You'll find different ways you can uh, help us out. Uh, marketing is expensive. But uh, I also like to point out, we've got a very efficient marketing uh, model on Facebook where it, uh, we can reach 2,500 people for just $10. So every little bit counts. We're still looking for a title sponsor for the pre-release online screening. So you know, uh, if you want to promote your business or you just want an excuse to uh, give us $2,500, we will <laughs> gladly accept your sponsorship of that event. And we have some other sponsorship levels. And uh, we also have this collector pack, we're calling it. It's an autographed script, a poster, uh, the virtual meet and greet, and a deck of playing cards, the Mayberry Man series playing cards. They're going fast. Uh, or if you just want the cards, you can head on over to weaversdepartmentstore.com. Uh, breaking, breaking news, we don't have any more. <laughs> Weaver sold serious? out today. Yeah, they sold out. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I guess you got to get the collector's pack. Got to get the collector pack. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's some you know other options to uh, to contribute. Uh, again, that's at MayberryManSeries.com. You can also reach it through our regular website. But uh, wow, sold out. We did. We sold out of them. Yes. Uh, yeah. They're they went fast. I mean, very fast. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So, well, cool. That's fun. Um, so I had something else on my list here. And uh, I think we ran through it. Oh, I was going to let people know. I just got an email from Eric Lowry uh, before we went live that the ticket links are up for Mayberry Comes to Scottsburg. Okay. So if you want to purchase tickets for Mayberry Comes to Scottsburg, uh, which is going to be June 21st through 23rd, the full school. I think it's the full schedule, uh, but the sched schedule details are now available at MayberryComesToScottsburg.com, and uh, you can begin purchasing tickets. So he actually said that uh, as soon as he hit you know, refresh or save for the website, that someone bought tickets. They were just oh, wow. They were just there waiting, waiting for it. That's <laughs> awesome. So I think that's going to be a great event. Uh, and that's in June. So we're just uh, you know few months yeah. away and we'll be showing the uh the movie and the series two different days at that event so definitely think that some folks were asking if it was going to be on at granville and no i don't believe it's going to be shown at granville so uh, yeah scottsburg is first chance you'll have yep so um that that's what i've got for tonight so uh alan any other important breaking news I can I can play the music if it's, if it's not good. any breaking news, but I, I thought I'd show some folks uh, something that uh, during the movie uh, there's a portion of the where where Chris Stone is signing autographs, and he's signing autographs to one one a couple Don and Betty. You remember that when that happens in the movie? Well, after that scene had been shot, I was walking around and sitting on the table was the actual picture that uh, they had been signing and, and he had to sign it over and over again. So it's in, uh, so this is the actual picture that Chris Stone was actually signing and I uh, procured it. <laughs> yeah. Just help yourself to anything you find on set. Um. If it was, uh, it was at the end of the day, it was all over and it was just laying there. I was like, somebody's going to throw this away. I got to have that. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we were using, you know, my father's actual, you know, photos that he used to take to events, uh, you know, to sell yeah. and uh, autograph and. Uh, yep, that was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, that, authentic prop. yeah, uh, yeah, and you can tell that uh, if you look, Chris Stone has signed it like multiple times in the same place. You know, so because they sat the scene multiple times, so he just kept writing on the same picture. So, well, he knew where to sign it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he was consistent on every take that way. He was in the exact same spot. So, so, all right. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're going to head out of here. But uh, again, Mayberry comes to Scottsburg. Great event. Tickets on sale now. And uh, we expect to have a firm release date and uh, channels where we can point you to. But we're just waiting on somebody else to <laughs> get back to us on the, the full confirmation. We expect to have two places where you can stream it come come May, the new series. So um, we're looking forward to that and we will share that news as soon as we get it. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we're looking and, forward to it. And uh, if you hear about any scandals in Mayberry, let us know. We'll, we'll, get, it covered. <laughs> we'll get our writers on it, on, on the story. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, you did a great job. Those were really fun. Thanks for sharing them with us. Those were really good. Yeah, if, if you want to hear another one of those headlines, uh, you know, a story based on one of those headlines, uh, add it in the comments. And, uh, you know, we, we, let's go through them real quick one more time. If you see one that you like, you know, these are not, these are not scandalous enough. <laughs> but uh, hidden symbolism and messages. Yeah, that's kind of good. And uh, tarnishing its legacy, just another remake. Shameless cash grab. Now that yeah, that one's a good one. We might have to ask AI to, to yeah, write that's us a, a good story. Like yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, I want to find out what these taboo breakdowns are. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and conspiracy theories. You know, mm -hmm. those are always popular. Sorted tales and scandals. And uh, maybe we should just ask it to to describe what a, what revamp means. Oh, yeah. um, and sinful secrets. Maybe we can have Ashley on uh, and talk about sinful secrets. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Shameless exploitation. Mm. Mm. These are. Yeah. And then this is the one we we actually just watched. All right, Alan, thanks for joining us well, tonight. Great job. great job. It'll be in the Mayberry Gazette from uh, next time. Uh, we, we have I have a little bitty copy of the paper. <laughs> All right. Have a great night, folks. Right. Well, hey, if you just like that clip, hit the like button. There's going to be plenty more. If you want more videos about The Andy Griffith Show, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Shazam! Come on, baby!